In this quick tip video, we will explore two different types of camera rotation centers that are most beneficial when working in the two most common scenarios. If you go to the upper right corner of the UI and click on this camera list menu, you can go down to the bottom section and notice there are different rotation centers. You have the current pick point, world center, last draw point, object bounding box, and then add custom point. What I want to focus on are these two here, around the current pick point. If you are sculpting, this is probably the one you want to use. If you are doing any type of modeling, if you're trying to make a clean selection all the way around or all the way through the object, you obviously do not want perspective distortion to be involved. So to avoid that, you would go to an orthographic view and some type of a side view as well. So let's go to current pick point and once more, this is most advantageous when you are sculpting. I'm using a 3D connection device, so this lets me sculpt while I'm rotating. And this rotation center really makes it easy to work in a nice, fluid, and natural fashion. However, if I want to model, and as I mentioned, if you want to make a selection that's evenly distributed, all the way through or all the way around the model, then it can be rather problematic. I'll go to an orthographic view by clicking this cube or the five key on your number pad. And then I'll zoom out. And I'll use my hotkeys to go to a side view. And you'll notice how it's not centered up. It can be a little bit irritating, so what we need to do is switch our rotation center to object bounding box. Now, it stays nice and centered. And you probably want to assign hotkeys to these two to make them very quick to access. Okay, so I'll come out of orthographic view. And that's going to conclude this quick tip tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.